Since the recent release of Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games coming to the Switch, I began to wonder if we'll ever see some DS or 3DS games ever come to the online Switch service, or even just a remastered game with a physical or digital release. Also, once I hit 9,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away a $10 Nintendo eShop gift card for your Switch, so make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below after you've done that so I can enter you into the giveaway. So far, Nintendo's brought over some Wii games, some GameCube games, those were released as like a physical and digital copy, so like they weren't a part of the online Switch program, which is which is fine, I guess, because we have a ton of games with the online Switch service. I don't think it would be too far-fetched to have some DS games on the Switch. The first thought I had when I was thinking about this topic is how would it work, because the DS has two screens, and the Switch obviously only has one screen, and it's not like the Wii U, where the Wii U you have the little handheld tablet, as well as the Wii U screen on the TV, so that's kind of like a dual screen setup right there. And the Switch, you can't do that, it's always just one single screen. But honestly, I think it's easy for game developers to optimize a DS game to be just on one screen. Like for example, take Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Those are remakes of a DS Pokemon game and it worked great. Like all the functions worked so well. We did not need two screens. They figured out how to make everything just flow well, like it was supposed to be like that. A lot of the times on the DS as well, like the second screen was just kind of a helping hand, like it wasn't anything major because only the bottom screen on the DS is a touch screen. So the other screen, you know, just kind of there for like a map or tips and tricks or just random stuff up there. I mean, it was really helpful and beneficial, but I think they could do without it. I think they can make it work on the Switch with only, with only one screen. Also, another huge reason why it would be so awesome if we got some DS or 3DS games on the Switch is because the Switch is a touchscreen as well as the DS. The DS was a touchscreen and a lot of games relied heavily on that touchscreen feature. Like some games you literally had to use the touchscreen for certain parts and the Switch has that feature but literally no games take advantage of the touchscreen. I don't think I've ever played a game on the Switch that I actually had to use the touchscreen. I don't even use the touchscreen honestly. I think I only use it for typing if I'm in handheld mode, like typing somebody's Wi-Fi in or something like that. I don't use the touchscreen at all. I don't think anyone really does. I know a lot of Switch games don't really need it, but like it would be kind of cool to have at least a feature in some games to take advantage of the touchscreen. I feel like it's just kind of there for no reason, but if DS games or 3DS games were to be on the Switch, that would just work out best in Nintendo's favor for putting in touchscreen features on the Switch, you know what I'm saying? The DS was the main Nintendo console that I grew up with, you know, alongside with the Wii, but I definitely use the DS way more, so I'd personally love to see DS games or 3DS games on the Switch. There's quite a lot of few DS emulators out there too that work wonderfully just on one screen. They don't need the dual screen. The people that put up the emulators, they figure out a way to put the second screen somewhere else or whatever. Going back to what I said earlier, like how the second screen was usually used for just like some mini maps or something like that, tips and tricks on the top, just some like extra features. To have a better organization of things is kind of how I thought of the second screen being just like a little organized folder type of thing. If I'm explaining that right, I'm really bad at explaining things guys. But but you know, like with, with Brilliant Diamond, all you have to do is press like X or something. I can't remember exactly, it's been a few months since I played that game, but you just have to press a button and then a, another menu pops up and then that's where like the mini map would be or your Pokedex or your Pokemon party and everything like that. So it's not that hard. And if like, let's say for example, a DS game, the second screen on that game would be a map. An easy way to fix that would literally just be putting the map like in one of the corners, like a mini map, pretty much how every game is. You know, like how Fortnite has like a mini map in the corner. Everyone's played Fortnite, so I know everybody would know that reference, but there's just so many easy ways to overcome some of these dual screen issues. I mean, I wouldn't even really call it an issue, honestly, because I feel like it's just so easy. I'm no game developer, but I'm just assuming that it's not too difficult just to move something else to another location in a video game. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and let me know what DS games you would like to see on the Switch. I have no idea. I mean, obviously, like, some of the Pokemon games and everything, but, like, maybe Fossil Fighters. That was a sick game. Loved Fossil Fighters. The DS just has a huge library. There are just so many games that they could bring over, but let me know what you guys think. Uh, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time.